Come on, you get a first down, you can, we can bleed it out. Come on. We should be up three. Good play, Garrett. Good fake, though. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, go for it. Fuck it. It's fourth and one. We blocked the kick. Punt it right here. You want to punt it and make him try to kick it. Good block, though, earlier. That, that was a free possession. I, look at that. I would have tried to run it. Fourth and one. I, watch it be a fake kick. We've been practicing. A couple times we've done that. This little motherfucker will take off. Watch. If he sees it available. He does a rugby type. See him? Watch. Watch. See him? Well, I tell you. He sees him coming, so he punts. Get that motherfucker. Ooh. Three minutes left. Come on, West Virginia. Come on, boys. You got this. You got this, guys. Come on. You have blows. Neil Brown needs fired right now. You kicked those field goals. Fucking idiot. We had nine points. We've got two sessions right now, man. It should be uh, 30 to fucking 21 if you guys have been watching this bullshit. Guys, West Virginia's Christian McLaurin started walking slowly off the field into that locker room. I assume he is done here for the night. Our yeah, best right, fucking right. players are hurt. Being checked Three of them parted off. Long way from the this is unreal. Like he was being and we just did a now. false start, motherfucker. Right? No, no, number 74. Number 74. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, number 74. All of those experienced players. On this team, Andrew yeah. Coker yeah, committed the false good. start. Great player for the Horn Frogs. Big yeah, athletic. Somebody you're going to see play on Sundays. Okay. It's not the normal play by Andrew on Coker. On Sundays, hear it's that? Seventh TCU penalty. That boy's going to be playing pro. Fifteen of the balls inside the ten. Let's get a turnover. We need it. Watch your check down. Here he comes, ninety-one. Oh, pick it. Shit. Get him. Get him. They didn't get the first. Twenty-four has close. We lost. Uh, Four, we had four massive entries right now, guys. LSU winning. They win. I think they got beat, didn't they? By nobody, bro. Come on, Mountaineers. We can make the playoffs this year, dude. But we, we have a fucking very sturdy defense. Garrett Green is going. He's just back. He got he wrapped up his ankle again there a while ago. Yeah, I know, man. I got pissed. I thought they lost. I was like, not to them anyway. You know? <laughs> I know how you feel, bro. Yeah. Oh, break your heart. Uh, we need this stuff. Come on, man. We have that. Well, come on, Kaboga. Oh, what a catch. He held on to that. Maybe not. Look at that again. For a second. Just like we did last time. Look at us while they're going fast. Look at the fucking play. It looks like that was juggling. Tremendous catch. And just under two minutes, the first down. Come on, make a play. Up and boom. What a hit on the quarterback. Call Boga. Number one is bad, dude. That quarterback paid for that. What? You'll see. Did you see him go like that just now? Yeah. Lee Kaboga. That's my favorite defensive player. He's got like 13 tackles. Here he comes again. Oh. Kaboga, they can't stop that kid. He's like a fucking rocket. He's definitely going pro. You see that? He's in the back doing that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, you probably hate Mountaineers, dude, yeah, man. We own Texas, actually. You know that, right? And I took my son to a Texas game. You won. That's when Quetikowski got the fumble in West Virginia and ran it all the way back. That won the game. Look like this right here. Three to tie. Yes, Todd. Come on. Put him ahead under yeah, baby. And a half to go. Come on, get him, get him. Oh my God, get him. He's got speed. He knocked fucking old boy down. See? These refs married if you're mad and get these players hurt. They ain't blowing the whistle. Look at the clock. They're going to stop it on first down this year. 
I don't like that rule. C24 is like, no. See, it's still running. One minute, 13 seconds. They're in field goal range. We blocked the last one. Yeah, he could have scored right there and beat us. Okay. Why is it not running? See, it don't stop. See, clock still moving. West Virginia timeout. Or TCU probably. Yeah. They're going to try to draw up. That's what. Second six, we're going to fire once at the end zone. And then play conservative again and kick a field goal. That defensive coordinator, but come on, Garrett. Come on, Garrett. You played a great game with, since you, uh, off an injury. Yes, you, you have, buddy. And he's still roughed up. He looks questionable. And we bought the kick, man. It's going to go to overtime. What I say, whoever had the ball last week from winning, we had this game every year with TCU like this. God, we need to stay back. You know, come on, man. This is a conflict game. It hurts. It's this year. It's not West Virginia credit because I think they played the game the way they want it to be played. Absolutely. Give Neil Brown's team a ton of credit. Coming down from Morgantown, it's a hot night here in Fort Worth. We have outplayed them like a motherfucker. We have. We are beating ourselves to death. TCU's offense was nearly non-existent in the third quarter. They had one guard in the third quarter. So two we had 10 points, we had zero. We had 172 yards. Get him, get him, get him. He's holding, he's holding. That was fucking holding, man. You better, he caught you rolling down. Yeah, they went backwards, Holmes, right? That was a fucking hold. Call the play, please. What you see? Two times. You see him grabbing right for you? Oh, my God, dude. Look at this. On number three right there. There's no quit in that defense. That's what wins championships. And four starters. Major injuries. Absolutely. I love Motown, brother. I just said that to uh, my son who went to Texas. You know, we, we in Kwiatkowski picked up the fumble and won the game with that return, fumble return. Third and seven. Watch his name came back. Bar 10, thank mercy. He made a couple good plays. 19 got carded off. He's the assistant captain. Uh, you got the captain out there now. He's got 15 tackles, 16, something like that. Number one. He's a beast. That's the lead tie polo. He's very good. Come on, boys. Look, three. There it is. One's got you, boy. He's going pro. Yes, he threw it. He was down. He was down, motherfucker. You got sacked. Because our, our, the boy it will be a number one draft pick. I said 91 ain't done nothing all day. Now Sonny Dykes. He's down. I guess he's gonna have to use his third and final timeout. Yes. He will. That was big. We need one more. Look, he is down. He sacks his ass, man. Watch. You're down, home slice. There's the ball. Wow. His whole hand bounced off the fucking ground. You're trying to make a play for your team. Wow. Come on, Mountaineers. You're one play away from winning this game. But face mask on 95, he had 96 by the face mask, where's that? I was like, why ain't Martin made a play? What you can't do, he's thinking right there, every one of them players. Not shit, buddy, you know what I mean? I ain't drunk nothing for a while. I'm drinking Mountain Dew and smoking Bud. I am pumped the fuck up. I've been screaming. I'm sure. Look at this block. Watch this. They missed that. That hard and bad. My Browns play the Ravens tomorrow, by the way. We just blocked that one. See that? We blocked it. We blocked two kicks. Country. That's what they say. Yeah, he's one of the best kickers in the country. Seven for twelve. Now West Virginia's shutting him down, son. Yeah, the Mountaineer uh, kicker. He should have let. Oh shit. 
But, yeah, Jack, he's got to understand he's got a Deshaun Watson on the other side this year. Hell yeah, I got my sons in Cleveland right now in Brunswick, though. He goes to Brunswick High School. That's his buddy right there, number 55, Thomas Remack. They're going to look at to see if he's down after all that. They're going to review whether Morris ever actually was down. His arm hit the ground and bounced up, you fucking idiots. Are you serious? If your elbow touches the ball, and especially if you take the ball and do this, you're down. Look, what's the arm? What's the arm right here? Right now. Look at this. In real time, when we saw it on the field, I think that's down. You fucking right is. You can see the fucking turf come up, everything. He's almost 18. He'll, he's graduating this year, brother. Look. Where's his leg? His arm is on the ground, people. Look. See, the, look at that. Any angle you want to look at. Down. No, it wasn't. Holy shit, no. Oh, my God. Yes, it did. There's not enough evidence, please. The ruling is down. Man. He, that looks right here. It's not down. It is not what. There's the leg back there, though. Look at the back leg. Look at his other leg, people. Or, this dude ain't got three legs. What? Yeah, but look at his other leg in between his. Look at his knee right here. What's his knee? Bam. Down, motherfucker. His knee is down behind the ball. This is cheap, dude. They are trying to let them win this. They do this every year. This is the game that I stay on the heels on because of TCU. You see what? It's our backup quarterback beat fucking uh, Texas Tech. That's a sack. Yes, it is. Texas Tech last week. And Texas Tech just slaughtered Utah. Or Houston, excuse me. I'm going to play Houston next. That's Dana Holson. That's the first time we can put a match up with you. It'll be fun. Dana. Is it Houston or Utah? We're playing. One or two. First time we play him. Dana's in Houston. Down, to it's Houston, yeah. That's why we're playing team. TCU, and then we go to Houston. That's exactly right. Then we come back home to play Central. It's either Central Florida or BYU. That's just the games I'm worried about. That poor play. Play, the ruling is down. Stands. No fucking way. You see that, guys? Did you not see the knee behind his arm? They got their timeout back, everything. He's, yeah, now you can kick a field goal. I'm tired of fucking getting... Man, what a fucking cheesy-ass goddamn call. Teeters Justice missed this. You missed this, it's over. Or you block it, somebody. He missed 53 and 46. He missed one and got one block. Come on. Come on, boys. This is straight down the pipes, too. That was the worst call. Timeout. Thank you. The 55 yarder. That was the worst call I've ever seen, man. Lower. Yes, it, it, we can get our hands up. And it's going straight down the middle. That's what Neil Brown's telling him. I would have a player jump on another one's fucking back. Like spring up off of him. Two of them do that right up the middle. We got time to get, get a field goal. Yep. That's the worst call I've seen ever, bro. That causes us to lose anything real. What we have fucking. We should have fucking 40 points on each other. We dropped seven interceptions. The announcer said that. Seven interceptions. That would have been. That would have been. Come on, come on. Yeah, fuck it! Yes! 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 Yes, motherfucker! He got it! Way down here! Please tell me West Virginia got that fucking ball! Why's that clock not stopping? 
all you got to do is just stay out of the way. Yeah. It's still our ball. It got blocked. It's our ball no matter what. Who recovered it? Whatever. What's he doing? 91 blocked it. The boy got the sack. They, they took away from it. Sean Martin. Third down. It's a big You see that shit? That's awesome, ain't it? That's the second time we blocked that. I said the, chief, the, the football gods will speak. Watch this. Sean Martin, bam. And here's the one in the very back. We have blocked four field goals this year already. We got some big boys to do that, man. Look at it. Look at Garrett. He loves it. Yes! This was a slugfest. I said it would be. It always is with TCU. I give them their credit. Always do. Look at it. That, that sucked the whole life. People leaving the stadium, everything. That's it. We can nail it down. Winning formation. The best formation there is. Bam. The first loss in Big 12 play for Sonny Dykes at TCU. You hear that? Unbelievable. Derek's keeping that ball. He knows about it. He just barely territory. overthrew this fucking 84 on a fucking 80 yard bomber. Mountaineers win. We go to 4 and 1 with a non conference loss. Keep winning, boys. There's a mountain at West Virginia State Police. Right there. 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 Right we ain't going home. We gotta go to Houston, brother. Why leave? That's just some civic. But buy that money. Yes, they do. We started out the number seven in the nation. That's your leader right there. He, he missed the past. He missed two games because he got hurt on the first play of the Pittsburgh game, and he can't play Texas Tech and. Uh, what's his name? Number eight, one. Uh, number two, the running back, Donaldson. He's going pro for sure. How about them Mountaineers, baby? How about them Mountain fucking? Oh, I got it all fucking crazy. How about them? Really tough night. And I don't think I've ever been part of a game where we've had a couple of our guys get carted off. So, really. Four injuries, seven dropped interceptions, and we won by three points. We blocked that kick back to back. They took the sack away from Sean Martin. He's going to be a first round draft pick all day defensive end. I'd love to see him dress in Cleveland Brown. That would be awesome. Garrett Green. How, how many years have I been saying his name, guys? Let him play. The kid passed. He's been fucking. He passed Florida State, Alabama, all of them to come play for you, Neil Brown. He loved the way this guy coached. That's what he said. Well, we got good news. Uh, well, Aubrey Burks is hurt real bad. And what's his name? Yeah, he took a shot. They had this worried about paralyzed. He's in great hands here. See, we get fucking respect. We get some tough things here. He didn't think he was going to win it. Texas Tech gets you. I mean, TCU sneaks right up on you. Being in the Big 12, guys, you got to worry about Texas, Texas Tech, all that. You see what I mean? Now, if Texas is gone, Oklahoma will be gone. What do you think is going to happen? Look, we're going to talk to Garrett. I want to hear what Garrett Green's got to say. First game, he got hurt on the first play of the Pittsburgh game. He was crying. I don't know if y'all watched that. He cried. It's like Pat White cried in the pit game. Because he couldn't play. They wouldn't allow him to play. My fucking best quarterback in history of the Mountains. Garrett Green, there he is. He reminds me of Junior at the air so much. Just no throwing interception. No touchdown by the air. Both, all of them was on these people. 12 runs, 80 yards, two touchdowns. The people don't understand. 
What did tonight say Look, about your that's team? what I love. They do that. That's it. Mountaineer Stadium, too. I love that about our team. We're playing country roads. Yeah. yeah, I think that just shows the oh, resiliency yeah. and grit of this team. Uh, you know, I love it. each and everybody in that room. That's uh, right. You know, we're a gritty bunch. You stay you together. You play as a team. Really you'll win as a team. Yeah, You're a good leader, kid. The world is ours. We, we can do whatever we want. We control that, our own destiny. That's right, buddy. So we're going to enjoy the bye week. We, control, the we got the bye week. Next we Thursday. control our destiny. That, that He's talking like the leader. I'm 100% never felt better, and the world is our oyster from Garrett Green. After a tough guy performance from him, and really, truly, Brock, West Virginia gets a week off to kind of regroup, and then they and go on that Thursday night to play Thursday night Houston game. Houston on the road. Houston. Houston. Dana Ohio Hogerson. City, UCF, BYU. Who knows? Maybe UCF. Big for the Mountaineers. Who is knows? The Mountaineers should just... You hear that? You hear that, nation? But I was... I'm on YouTube saying I'm crazy for what you said. West Virginia could end up in the playoffs. So could Kentucky. Thanks for watching. We're for fucking real, people. Twenty-four, twenty-one. Let's like I told you. That boy right there, is going, right there is, going right there is, right there is going to win a fucking Heisman Trophy or a fucking. Now he wants a title, and I see that. And you can see he's so a determined player. I love it. I love it. I am happy. Tomorrow, Cleveland, Baltimore. Best believe. Same place, same time, guys. Catch me at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Cleveland Browns with my... I'll be rocking the Nick Chubb, of course. You know what I mean? Get well soon, Chubb, man. We miss you. We miss you a lot, trust me. But uh, we signed for him Hunt back, $6 million one-year contract. And Isaiah Ford from Cincinnati when the 16 no team looked amazing out there. Caught a touchdown pass from like 40 yards away as the running back and scored uh, on the ground a couple times last year. That is great by running back, you know. He's like Kareem Hunt, we don't need you because you were more of a passing back and I just scored a 40 yarder and wide open. Look, fourth and sixteen. Why are you? Why you fucking hesitate? What the fuck is wrong with him? He hesitated. Why did you hit that late score? Look at the number, guys. Let's see who went for you every time. He wears that number. Watch out. Notre Dame, okay. One of Marigold. That boy was telling me he's a big Notre Dame fan. Right, Michael? Oh, hell no. Y'all lost a good player, too, man. That fucking sucks. Right. West Virginia we're responded with four straight so wins. Kudos to Notre Dame. Last second uh, I mean, late who was even saying that, guys? We get no credit from nobody. And we play amazing football. We have a great defense. That defense kept us alive in this game. We blowed so many opportunities on offense. It was unreal. He overthrew fucking Clement two times on beautiful walk-in touchdowns. Uh, we look like, just like you said, let me look at the schedule here. What I said, even losing to Penn State, so we don't lose big, we could get him to the playoff and into a title shot. You know what I mean? You know, division one, I mean, we're starting to become a real favorite there in the nation. People ain't noticed that. West Virginia actually is. Okay, we got uh, Houston next. And, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, Oklahoma State, we will fucking wear them out in Morgantown. I watched them play. They have been awful. The game wears me the most. Not BYU. Not even Oklahoma. 
Cincinnati Bears at. Oh, God. We used to play them all the time in the Big East. We got, we got the number. It tells the, how many times we played, and, you know, the records. We got like 20 wins over top of them, but still, you got to watch them. Florida State is my other team. One of my teams are going to get in there. But how about that defense? God, 1,350 yards of offense. And somebody told me I didn't run for almost 600 yards in the game. Have you ever heard of an ATH player combined? Because I played fucking, I was playing to run, I was running the ball just like a fucking running back. And also throw in it. It's very easy to score six, seven touchdowns like that. Garrett Green scored six. By the quarterback Daniels, uh, and all of a sudden, through the track, the game the before, oh, what, oh, what a deep piece of fucking play. Oh, oh, oh Miss, come back and beat that, LSU. That oh, play, man. The play that is the huge fourth down man, I'm telling you, man. So, yeah, but LSU can still get them. Do I'm telling you, that's one loss. Dog, and it's a conference loss. I understand that. that. But like Marshall game, fucking and won again. And, and let me remind y'all guys. Marshall beat the fuck out of Notre Dame last year. Did they not? They handed their ass to them. Sold out fucking crowd. I was going to go to that game. It's just like 30 minutes away, Huntington. 45 minutes. To hour maybe tops, and I couldn't believe it. Marshall, Marshall ain't a team to be played with like that. We beat them. We played them thirteen times in football, and we beat them thirteen times in football. But they. Right, and so we hey, knocked us out some good tournament games and shit in basketball. But Mountaineers, look at this. They fucking, they make them a Division One, and they will go to it. This is a beautiful play. A fucking Appalachian State for whatever reason they consistently find ways to win miracle games. Last second walk off field goals. Hail Marys, you name it. Hail State does it. Hail Marys, walk off second field goals. You name it, they do it. Block field goals. Uh, block punts at the last. I mean. I, I, the shit that App State can pull out their head. <laughs> They're that close to becoming D D one. I think Marshall should be the next D one. They may UCF a D one and put them in a Big Twelve. Colorado will be in there next season. Y'all know that, right? And uh, I think California maybe, and then we got SMU joining Southern Methodist. Uh, University and um, a couple, you know what I mean? But them teams don't threaten me none, man. It looks like we could get into the fucking title. I feel much comfortable. The only two teams that really, really threaten us every year is Texas and Oklahoma. And they're going to be gone. Any for a new 15 the, the only thing I can see they're talking about shutting on the Pac-12 and if they do that if Oregon joins the Big 12 that'd be the fucking team that would end up owning it it'd be between West Virginia them and a couple, maybe UCF one year you know what I mean they get good sometimes you know what I mean but I am happy as fuck. West Virginia won. I am so happy. I bought this shirt this year because we got the true freshman white. His first carry went for 68 yards in that uh, pit game. Not the pit game. I think it was a pit game. Maybe. He was 22. And uh, I thought, fuck it. Thank the same as used to wear 22, you know, so. You wear that jersey here. You, Everybody's like, they're away. And I'm like, no, I actually white, you know what I mean? And we've had Pat White, this very white, whoever this kid is. Kevin White, Kazir White, we, them, that was all three brothers. And uh, another one, I can't say their names, you know what I'm talking I don't mean to say it like that, but, uh, and they all been black. We've had, I don't know how many guys named White, but the last name White, or uh, Black. And they all been good. 
I said Garrett Green was going to be a fucking a champion. Everybody laughed at me. Watch. I know my shit, man. That kid's got potential to win a national championship. He's better than Baker Mayfield. I promise you. He will be. As a rookie, he'll be better than Baker if he gets drafted. He could be. Very much could be if he, if he pays attention out there. Because... He, he don't throw the interceptions. He's got wheels. And if he does, it's fucking miracle bullshit tip like last week. Uh, well, not last week. But that lucky Pittsburgh Steelers bullshit. The first play tipped in his hands. Fucking 10 yards from the touchdown. Oh, well, you're so fucking good. It reminded me when we beat their ass on Monday night when they hocked it over Rossenberger's head. And guess who recovered it? Carl Joseph from West Virginia. Number 42 at the time. Now number 42 is Tony Fields from West Virginia. 40-38. ULM. Then 41-40. They hit another one. Oh, what a play. App State comes back and hits a fucking huge good roll. Joey Galloway, former Cowboy. It is. Wake me up when September ends. We started October with the fucking dub dubs, baby. You know what I mean? I'm proud of my boy Josh, baby. Proud. That one boy told me, he said, dude, I love how you have so much pride for your that team. Yeah. That's, I mean, I would fucking cry, scream, I mean, everything if we ever win a title in basketball or football. But football is, of course, what I'm winning. I can't believe this whole miss game, man. I flipped it off here to watch the Mountaineer game. That's what I was watching and getting it. So good about that. LSU had this. You know what I mean? The old misses. Oh, shit, man. No, that's a flat. That's a fucking targeting. Motherfucker, no way, man. That's on the quarterback. You don't hit any quarterback like that. They'll slide through you, you fucking idiot. That was fucking really cool, man. I like that. I thought they did it. Oh, a quarterback hurdling motherfuckers for Ole Miss. Nick Chubb, these bitches, man. This dude scored. Yeah. That reminds me of Chubb. Watching him chopping them legs right there when he made contact. Well, I'm off here, guys. My game is good. Uh, same place tomorrow, 1 o'clock. Cleveland Browns, Baltimore Ravens. Let's go.